racism at its best. As y'all can see the sign behind me, I will not be coming back to Cracker Barrel, especially not this location. So, just to give y'all a little insight, I go in there at 12.45. Damn, I can't even get my purse in the car. <laughs> I go in there at 12.45 and the waiter takes my order and prints out my ticket for me to cash out at 12.50. Where they do that at? Mind you, he just kept the waiter wasn't even one serving me. It was the bus girl. She took my order. She got my food. She brought my drink. And she was seeing about me. And she the bus girl. Then he had the nerve to say he knew that my type wasn't going to tip. <clears throat> Excuse me, say what? Felicia. Girl, this man just tried me in Cracker Barrel. He just tried me and it took nothing but God for me not to get in his behind, honey. He had the bus girl basically giving me all my stuff and thought I was finna tip him. He got mad because I put colors in her hand. Homeboy. I sat down at 12.45. You gave me my ticket to leave at 12.50. My ticket was on my table before my food got there. Where they do that at? I'll tell you where they do that at. Hold on, I'm going to show you. Cracker Barrel. Guess what? There's many other places to go eat, honey. And guarantee you, this place won't get no money up out of me. And that ain't even the worst of it. I go to check out and tell lady, I don't know if it's in y'all policy or not, but um, to give check five minutes after the order been taken, and the person who bring me my check is supposed to be my waiter, and he knew who took my order. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. Um, What I'll do? I said, no, I just know that I'm not going to come back. She said, oh, no, what I'll do, I'll go ahead and take the tea off. Bitch, you gonna take the God forgive me. You gonna take the whole order off, boo. Don't play with me. She saw oh, was the food okay. I said it was not. I said the nurse made the food disgusting. Show her the food on the table. I said you can go and get it. And you can take it off. Cause I don't want it. She looked at me like No problem, ma'am. But guess what? Bitch, I still walked out of there with a T. Huh? That they paid for. Because I'm not finna play with them. I work hard for my money. And I, I understand that it's a business and what all that extra stuff. Child, please. Them steak tips was not worth it. I left that food right there. And I will eat when I get out from work. But um, anyway... She was like, oh, do you need a manager? I said, um, no, I don't need a manager because if you could take just the tea off, if you only going to take the tea off, what, the manager going to take the taxes off? Like, no, I don't want none of this. <laughs> like, what the hell? I don't want you. I don't even want your manager. I damn sure didn't want your waiter, so it don't make no sense for you to call nobody else to try to come and help me. You got me messed up. Got me messed all the way up, honey. But anyway, I just had to go ahead and put them out there real quick. And I'll be um, on Cracker Barrel um, Facebook site letting them know about their store in Northport, Florida. That I will not be returning to because of the disgusting ASS service. But um, the way how this traffic is set up, I'm going to holler at y'all. Best to give me a call. Bye.